wave accounting tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how to use wave accounting for your professional invoicing and your banking so let's get started first what you need to do is you can go to waveapps.com and you will get to this platform right here now wave is an accounting software which is really famous for its features and tools we get and it is completely free so even if we check out the pricing for wave then it will show you that it's zero dollars invoicing no setup fee no hidden charges or no monthly fee so that is why wave is you know one of the best option out there for accounting and we can use it with zoho books and that's what i will show you you even get a free trial for zoho books if you sign up with wave so what you need to do is of course sign up you can see we can sign up with our email address or we can sign up with our google account uh, once you sign up then you will be able to get to your wave now let me actually show you you can see enter your email address set up a password or sign up with google so i have actually signed up with my zoho books too and i have accessed all my features for my wave with my zoho books because zoho books is also an accounting software by zoho and we get all the different you know tools and options one of the really famous ones and i'm actually using it for free with wave this is one of the best thing out there now let me show you how to create an invoice using wave so you can just go to this plus option here this is my account on zoho with wave so don't get confused now to create an invoice go to the invoice option right here and it will take you to sales and invoices now i will show you how to create an invoice right here so now it's really easy for us i can create an invoice using wave or i can create an invoice using zoho so it's a new invoice right here first of all we have to select a customer how to create a customer on zoho or on wave well you can create different customers first and just go to your customer option here and then you will be able to create a brand new customer so we can also create a customer within an invoice but let's go to new and enter our customer's first name and then we have last name and then we have display name there you go and we have customer email so i will click on save and a new customer will be created right here on uh, my zoho and you can see this, these are feature different features from zoho and wave combined and let's move on to our invoice now and let's add our new customer so i'm just going to click on new and then i'm going to select my new customer that i just added then we have our invoice name and then we can also add an order number if we like and then we have an invoice date so this is going to be the date and we can also select a salesperson if we like then we have a subject so in subject i'm just going to add invoice for sessions because i will be adding my all in sessions in items so this is where we add items you can select items that you already have we have an item right here or i can create a new one so i'm going to click on new item and i'm going to add a name which is going to be online sessions there's no unit for it of course and then we have a price so i'm going to add a price 59 gbp this is my you know currency but you can change your currency anytime you like so i'm going to go ahead and type in of course our cost again and then we have account which is going to be sales and then we have account goods for so okay perfect click on save and your new item will be created so now i can add it right here you can see i have added it we can change the quantity so i'm going to select three because there were like three sessions and now i have added the quantity i have added the item i have added the amount it's perfect now we also have our payment methods so you can set up a payment gateway you can add credit or debit card we have stripe then we have PayPal option available, ideal with Stripe again, and we can actually receive payment with any of these different methods. So I'm going with a Visa or MasterCard. We have our email address and my invoice is ready. Click on save as a draft or save and send. If you click on save and send, then your invoice will be sent to the email that you've added. And you can see right here, now we have our invoice. This is how it looks on Wave. This is how you create an invoice using Wave Zoho. So then we can all set up recurring payments if we like we can add different items as i showed you we can also keep track of our expenses we can also add our budgets and estimates on zoho using a wave so if we talk about the wave the different products we're getting on wave then we have accounting and invoicing so i showed you invoicing 
if I tell you about accounting more, that what are the different features we're getting in accounting? Well, we get income and expenses. And what we can do is we have our own accounting, banking, payrolls, and reports. Just go with Wave as well. But I personally, I have a Wave Zoho account. So that's why I went with like that. Uh, but this is what you will get with your Wave account. And we can go ahead and organize our expenses and budgets. And we can organize our dashboards. We can add invoices payment methods and it's really easy to use and we will be able to get our analytics and reports as well They're one of the best thing out there because what happens is that we don't need to use google analytics or any other analytics tool for reports and for insights to my budget to my expenses that what i'm spending what i'm earning to my payments to my payrolls a way will giving me everything because it has all the right features and tools for us for our accounting and we can actually run a successful business online using wave with wave uh, we can go ahead and also uh, create our own uh, customized invoicing as i showed you then we have our own mobile invoicing available there are different templates available on wave as well that you can use to create professional invoices Similarly, if I go to this plus pattern, we have customers, vendors, expenses, again, recurring invoices, customer payment and credit notes. If I want to set anything, I just go ahead and set up anything I like with Wave Accounting and Wave Accounting has all of these professional options for us and it is completely free. Even if we talk about the customer service on Wave, it's pretty good and we can just use it for our banking and for our accounting really easily. We can connect our banks. We can also also add our different team members inviting a team member is really is using wave you just enter their email address of any of your team members and then once your email address is added you can also import a list if you like and then you just send an invite to your email address they get the invite and join your wave and you can share your invoices and expenses directly to them on wave as well so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to tell you everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use wave accounting for accounting and invoicing don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel Oh.